He's been able to stay healthy and have that longevity. McGarrett Blunt, the only back behind Stafford, and he gets the handoff, the former Tampa Bay Buccaneer. He spent three years there, and once again, we'll remind you at the bottom of the screen, you'll be able to see starting lineups. What do you think about LeGarrette Blunt as a pickup for this team? I think he's outstanding. You know, he's been what, on the three last three Super Bowl winning teams. <laughs> right. So you get him, you're gonna, you think you got a chance, but he's a pounder. I mean, he, he brings it every down. Blunt, left side, finds a little hole inside the 45 to about the 43-yard line, where he is brought down by Vernon Hargreaves, the third-year cornerback out of Florida. Well, the thing that amazes me about Blunt is, is his size and his power, but watch the quick step he makes here. He just jumps over to the other hole, and here he tries to jump. He is tackled around the legs, but I've been impressed throughout his entire career because of his size. You think he's only going to run downhill and, and with power, but instead he shows finesse in his game as well. Blunt with the football, and he'll get stacked up for little or no gain. They may mark his progress. Stafford for Blunt again and again stacked up and we have a flag down on the far side of the field as he gets pushed back. Great play. Garrett Blunt in the backfield as the Lions operate from their own two and Blunt adds another yard and that'll do it for the first quarter as time will wind down. Tampa Bay with a touchdown. Blunt again finds a hole. And runs for first down yardage out to about the 12 yard line. That's huge right there coming off the goal line. This is one of those situational football things, backed up football. Offensively, you want to get two first downs, kick it to the other. And defensively, you want to hold them and get to short field. You get that ball right in that lane. Waiting. That's it. Bunk again. Not so much this time in the middle. Brought down at about the 12 yard line. Yeah, one of the things, you know, they, they've got to be, they've got to create this running game. They've got a big, strong offensive line. But really, to have a great running game, your wide receivers have to buy in and block. They did a great job uh, on that play coming off the goal line of Golden Tate blocking on the inside. This is uh, LeGarrette Le 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 Blunt, and Blunt with running room on the left side, bulls his way across the 45, and is right at the sticks. This could be another first down for Detroit. This is LeGarrette Blunt. Upended as he crossed midfield to the 48. LeGarrette Blunt back into the backfield, and he's going to get the handoff. And that second effort might have gotten him a first down. Well, there's the power and the leg drive we're talking about. There, there was a contact, a good yard in the backfield. It looks like he was going to be brought down. He kept those legs driving. Watch this initial contact, and you can see, look at that. He's, he's almost two yards short of the sticks. The hit by Bola almost brings him down, but keeping those... Just not strong up, enough. That's <laughs> one man stronger than the other. 40 seconds to play here in the third. Blunt again. Off the left side, running over people inside the 20 to about the 18-yard line. Trent, I find it hard that LeGarrette Blunt's in this game right now. Exactly. I mean, uh, he's proven he's a player. I don't know why he's in the, in the end of a preseason game. Well, yeah, the end of a preseason game. But, you, you know, you think about you want a big back going in there, you know, on a fourth and one. But as you mentioned, now clock winding down here, about to head to the fourth quarter, and, and your starting running back is still, uh, still churning out the yards.